Apple's Tim Cook delivers his keynote address at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, talking about updates to the Apple Watch Monday, June 4, 2018, in the McHenry Convention Center in San Jose, California. Carl Monden, Bay Area News Group, a Colorado man has sued Apple in San Jose, alleging the company sold knowingly defective watches in which the screen could chatter or pop out from the body, sometimes only days after they were purchased. Kenneth Skaka filed his lawsuit with the U.S. District Court for Northern California against the Cupertino tech giant on Monday, alleging that all four generations of Apple Watch have the same screen defect and that Apple has actively concealed and failed to disclose the defect. Apple's conduct, when confronted with the defect, indicates that its internal policy is to deny the existence of the defect, claim the defect is the result of accidental damage caused by consumers, and then refused to honor its limited warranty on those grounds, the lawsuit alleges. Without limited warranty coverage, consumers are forced to incur the significant expense of repairing or replacing their defective watches, Skaka is suing Apple on six counts, three of which allege Apple's breach of warranty. He demands $5 million in restitution from the company. Skaka also seeks class action status to be able to include anyone in the United States who purchased any of the four Apple Watch models. Skaka is represented by the San Francisco-based law firm Shepard, Finkelman, Miller. Colin Tang, who is representing Skaka in this case, did not respond to a request for comment. Apple also did not respond to a request for comment. Skaka purchased an Apple Watch Series 2 on or about December 1, 2016, from an authorized Apple store in Colorado Springs, Colorado, on or around March 9, 2018. Skaka's watch screen became detached from the body after he removed the watch from its charger, according to the lawsuit. Apple Store employees who examined the watch said that the detachment was because of non-warrantable damage rather than a swollen battery, which would have been covered by Apple's warranty. They quoted Skaka a $249 repair fee, which Skaka declined, the lawsuit states. At all pertinent times, Skaka maintained his watch as recommended by Apple, reads the lawsuit. Skaka's watch was in like new condition, with no scratches on the screen or damage to the body. In the lawsuit, Skaka alleges that he was not the only Apple watch owner frustrated by the defect and Apple's response. The lawsuit cites 16 comments listed in Apple's community's forum sharing the owner's experiences of their Apple Watch screen falling out, saying the internet is replete with similar instances. Owners of defective Apple Watches are faced with unenviable and expensive options, reads the lawsuit. They can pay over $200 to repair an already expensive watch, they can purchase Apple Care for at least $49 and then pay an additional $69 service fee for each incident, they can purchase a new Apple Watch or they can simply not use their watch. Under any option, consumers must either pay more for the continued use of an already expensive watch or be deprived of its use entirely. Since launching Apple Watch in 2015, Apple repeatedly had to extend warranties on multiple watch models due to a swollen battery defect. In April 2017, Apple extended its warranty for the first-generation watches experiencing battery issues from one year to three years. A year later, Apple offered the same warranty extensions to select Watch Series 2 models with battery issues. Apple Watch warranties extended beyond battery issues, however. In July 2017, Apple began repairing first-generation Apple Watches for free if the device's back cover separated from the watch body, but not the front screen. A reasonable consumer expects and assumes that, when he, she purchases an Apple Watch purportedly designed for active wear and use, the watch screen will not spontaneously crack, detach, or shatter when it is being used within its normal and or expected range of operation, the lawsuit states.
you might also like Kim Lim, daughter of tycoon Peter Lim, on being a hot premium content some GE partners are MIT, UOL, UB. Do the richest Americans live? Mansion Global LGG 7 Think Review, a solid but uninspired effort hardware zone is Apple going to release a new iPhone SE model soon? Hardware Zone is a teen, he killed a little girl in a casino. Now he, MercuryNews.com Melania Trump's nude photos raise questions, did she? MercuryNews.com San Jose, Telltale Billionaire, shirt links teen to. MercuryNews.com recommended by.